glad I never committed suicide. I almost did, actually. What saved me was my son. He's not a big man, he's 45. But he's the one who saved me. These are the thoughts that clouded the mind of then 36-year-old Rubaramira Ruranga, who had just tested HIV positive at the time when the scare of having AIDS was at its peak. Having waited for the longest 30 days of his life to know his status, Ruranga blames the torment to lack of counseling at the time. For sure, didn't know what was going to happen next. Again, because there was no counseling. So counseling is that important. People are playing around with it, taking someone for a week and then comes out and becomes a counselor. Counseling, real counseling, comprehensive counseling is very important. It all started when his friend Viola Mkasa had a discussion with him about HIV AIDS, a disease she described as deadly, had no cure and it was contracted through sleeping with multiple partners. Rubara Mira was part of the struggle in 1979 during the Liberation War. The now retired major remembered how he lived his life recklessly in the five years he spent fighting in the bush. We first captured uh, Fort Porto, then we came capturing different districts, Barara, Masaka, Mpiji and, and other places. And wherever we were, we had women. There's no doubt about that. So I concluded that if what she's saying is true, and I knew her as a very intelligent woman, then I was not safe. So I said, okay, that one now I know. So I know I have it. She said, no, 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 you cannot just conclude like that. I said, but you have said, if I have gone with one wife, one woman, um, I cannot be sure I don't have it. And I can, assure, I can assure you, I've gone with many women, not just, not just more than one. I've gone with many. So I think I have it. This revelation later prompted him to go test for HIV so as to be sure. We went to Entebbe Virus Research Institute. All the way to Entebbe. I drove her to Entebbe. There was no counseling. They showed me where the testing is done. So I went. Put it arm. They tested, they tested her as well. I think she was trying to encourage me. So I said, when do I get the results? They said, 30 days. Now those Saturdays were Saturdays of anguish. I just kept thinking, of course you have it. But then what? Waiting for those Saturdays that was like waiting for, for a life sentence. Because indeed, that's what it was. Prepared to receive the news from the medical experts, the soldier donned on his army uniform which later scared the nurse at Entebbe Virus Research Institute to give him his results. I was in uniform, military uniform. And the nurse, somehow feared giving me the results. I think they had a fear that probably one could get bizarre and pull the gun and, you know, and shoot. I was not so scared in, the, in getting the results. But uh, eventually I said, you know, I begged her, please. There's, there's nothing you need to fear. I brought myself the first time. I have brought myself the second time. So that tells you I'm serious. I want to know who I am. She said, okay. Number one means you have. Number two means you don't have. So it means what? I have what? So where am I? She said, number one. Oh. So I have. She said, that's what the number says. I said, what do I have? She said, you have AIDS. 
After the disclosure, Ranga experienced a moment felt by each and every person who has ever tested HIV positive. It was like getting a heap of ice and pouring on my head. I started seeing so many things just in one moment. And all this was because there was no cancer. Because if counseling was there, I would have known what to expect and probably what would be required of me. But I didn't know. This feeling is mutual to even those who receive counseling today. Retired Major Rubaramir Ranga has now come to terms with living with HIV. It is now 34 years on and he is one of the few Ugandans who have lived a healthy life with HIV longest. He is also among the first Ugandans who, just after the late Philip Bongole retire, went public about his HIV status in 1992. He has a device for you. We need to know that this disease affects everybody. Even you playing around with it can get it. It's not something we should play about with. We need to be really, really very serious. But to go around and start cracking jokes about people who are infected, I, I think that is inhuman, in my view. So I, I appreciate those of you who are doing great work, taking these messages to people. But please, let us remember, it may be on somebody's door today, but it will be on your door, whether you're a media person, whether whatever you are. So this is a problem for all of us to be serious about. I am Rothina Sajay reporting for New Vision TV. May I hear